Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk a little bit uh, with you about this web recorder option and to see how it works if I need to file a form on the web. So let's assume I have a, you know, I need to fill in a form. I just found one random form on a Australian immigration website. And um, let's see, I have this form to, fi uh, to fill. So how would I do it with a uh, power to my desktop, whether it's possible or not? Let's have a quick look. So if I click here on web recorder, then I select the instance for the Chrome browser, and then I start the record, right? So first I go to this website, it's already open. Then I select, I have read and understood privacy statement. I read and understood security statement. I was told in citizen, no. Select the reason for making this application. Let's see, I have this. No, this reason did not work. No. No. Yes. Yes. So just a couple of check boxes to fill in. Right. And let, let's say I uh, completed this form. No, just an example. So we put some text, test, text, right? So I have a number, then the date, let's say it's like this, place of arrival, Sydney, and um, You arrived as a child, identifier. Ah, that's a long form to fill in. So let's say, let's assume I filled it in, right? Because it's still a lot of options. Then I click here to acknowledge, submission and submit. Right. So, of course, I, I get some errors because I have not completed all the fields, but let's see how it works here. Right. Finish. Let me close this browser for now. And I try to run it to see how it works. I'm just curious to find out. So I run this. Let me maximize this window. It opens the form for me. Oh, look, look, it actually works quite well, right? It puts the checkboxes where they need to be. You know, it puts some text. Great. So it actually filled in all the information that I submitted, right? Of course, I get some errors here. Acknowledgement is also clicked to yes. Yeah. So that's uh, what you can do. You know, if you have an online form, you can that you have to fill in, and you have to do it multiple times. Of course, it doesn't make sense to do it only one time. But if you have a similar form to, to fill in multiple times, you can definitely use this um, Power Automate desktop to do it. And it seems to work quite nice. Uh, so it does the clicks and uh, text fills, things like that. So I hope it's been helpful and uh, have a great day. Bye bye.